babies welcome back to another reading vlog because i don't know what else to do in case you didn't know this is book witch reviews i'm monique i review and vlog and do weird stuff occasionally on this channel and i thought i would start a new reading vlog because i just finished the other one and why not and also i got more book mail I believe this is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland, which I don't, I don't know if it's a pen name or her, oh my god, that's beautiful, if it's a pen name or not, but I love you, hello. Look at that spine. So, Dread Nation by Justina Ireland, the second novel, Deathless Divide, I think, just came out this year. This is a um, zombie novel, and I actually have sort of like a hidden, like, secret love for zombie apocalypse novels. I have like a couple hiding. My favourite is The Girl With All The Gifts, which movie i still need to watch but this book follows a girl who is sort of like um trained to be like the combatant or like a soldier for like richer families and in this sort of like post-apocalyptic uh world where zombies and like the undead are like plaguing everything and i believe there's like queer rep in here also black representation and i'm just like this book sounds so good and i don't know why i didn't know about it because in 2019 i was on bookstagram no it wasn't well i was just about on bookstagram which i will be honest and say before that though i'm always like a huge lover of books i found the majority of my books in bookstores and also i didn't buy a whole lot of books in the period between me moving sort of from home to to England and in my like uni days because I just didn't have space and now obviously I all I have is space that's a lie I don't really have space my girlfriend keeps telling me that I should stop buying books and I, I don't want to but super pumped for this one because seriously look at this cover also I just literally saw it in hardback and it has deckled edges so there may or may not be an additional copy out there waiting for me so yes it's thursday because we don't do vlogs in regular weeks we do them first day to first day or whatever i just started um aurora burning on my lunch break and it is just as funny as i remember aurora rising being it's all sassy and humor and i'm just i would much rather read than work right now but we are gonna we're gonna try we're gonna do the thing and then um, it's another week. Hope you're all taking care of yourself. I'll see you in the next clip. So the thing is, right, that I started this book this morning and I'm on 139. And it just reminds me of the fact that I read Aurora Rising in like 24 hours. Like I literally had a day in bed and I read it because it's just so easy and funny and I love Cal, and I love Finn, and I love all of them, and I feel like c is gonna come for my heart, but also I hate the fact that they don't swear. Mother Custard is stupid. It's Friday. Happy Friday. I'm so thankful for the weekend. Um, I'm hoping to do quite a lot of reading. Apparently there's a 24-hour readathon for Make Your Myth Taker tomorrow, so I'm three books in, which is quite good. My next book is a Elysium Girls by Kate Pentecost, which I have been waiting and dying to read. I'm really hoping it's queer, because that's what I want. Um, but yeah, Aurora Rising. Um, I was a firm Cal and Ori shipper, and now I don't know. It's like fast paced and actiony, and I just, I eat. Mm, mm, mm. The ending though. It's 
Saturday and I know it looks like I just rolled out of bed but I've actually been awake since 8 this morning. I've been catching up on some YouTube, I've been trying to upload my vlog which I finished on Thursday and was trying to upload on Thursday but my internet hates me. Um, I also started my fourth book in the Night Path for Make Your Myth Taker where I am trying to become a night oracle and um, this is the fourth prompt which is to go on a quest to save someone or something and this book is a oh god how do I explain this book this book is basically a game between life and death and the people who get to decide whether humankind survives is one city called Elysium which is like in the middle of like Texas or something like that and basically this city gets told that you have 10 years to basically make an utopia and be good people like not care about race not care about sexuality like be good and do good and if you don't then death is gonna win this like waiver that they've like set up basically it's a game and there's like a demon and we have like dust skeletons and there's dust everywhere and it's like weirdly like cowboy setting I'm intrigued to see whether i'm gonna love this as much as i think i will because i actually am very excited about it also it's by kate pentecost if you didn't know but yeah no this is a recent release super pumped to read this i am um, going to put on some makeup you can all enjoy that i'm going to make some more coffee and then i'm actually going to do some serious outlining and writing and finish my writing blog which i have been which i started last month and we need to finish it and then i might do some videoing so yes this is the plan these are the things happy saturday see you later cider which does not smell as delicious as I wanted it to because it's like classic gross cider and drinking it reminds me of being in uni but let's do a little reading update so I finished Elysium Girls by Kate Pentecost this morning I read most of it yesterday in a hammock at my girlfriend's parents place where we had a socially distant barbecue um and it was a delightful and chilled the evening the book, hmm, okay, I thought we would have more mechanical horses and more action and instead it's just very um, relationship based and the pace is quite calm and these metal horses don't really come in till like a third of the book. I do enjoy the um, huge amount of representation we have in this book and I do like the witch aspects but they're not super witchy and it's just all a bit less than what I thought it was but overall I did think it was a very interesting to view more action more basically like this cover so cowboy girls on mechanical horses and an actual race because I thought there was an actual race and it's not it's like a game between life and death book in my make your myth taker i am actually off of the night path and going on to the oracle path where the next prompt for my next book was to go into a book blind and the idea was for me to read all the bad apples by moira fowley doyle um and i'm not entirely sure what this book is i know it's magical realism i think it's a family of women who've been like cursed and i think their main character's sister like 
dies right in the beginning or is dead or isn't dead i'm not sure this is why we're going into it blind but i may or may not change this i can't remember whether it was just the first four that you had to stick with or if you had to stick with everything that you had like proclaimed or like determined i don't remember what the make your move take a declare couldn't remember whether or not i had to like whatever i've declared i had to read but i do still plan on reading this but sa chakrabarti also came out with empire of gold the other day and though i have had an arc of it i've been scared to pick it up so i'm actually gonna buddy read it with a couple of friends of mine that i read kingdom of copper with which includes justine from i should read that i'm gonna link her down below if any of the other people i can't remember if they also are booktubers or not but i will link them down below if they are if not i will link their book blogs and we're going to be reading that over the next week and i already started and i can't I can't hack Empire of Gold. Good morning, team. So, uh, this reading vlog sort of went um, off course, I guess because i uh i gave you a reading update on monday and then there are some clips from another walk on wednesday and today it's a uh, saturday sorry not sorry i've been really busy in work this week and i've just yeah i i have been reading though so all this okay what i have not been doing is i haven't been reading my make your move take just this little baby next but it's okay because uh, my girlfriend is on shifts this uh, weekend so like daytime wise i'm just gonna read a lot and do all of the things also really need to clean my house and i'm gonna go exercise in a moment on my beautiful exercise bike which is like right next to you but first let's talk briefly about the fact that um i body read well, the rest of them are still body reading, but I'm a terrible person at body reading and power read. So I finished Empire of Gold yesterday by S.A. Chakrabarti, which is the third and final installment in the Devabad trilogy. And I have so many feelings about this book. It is a solid five star. It's like there's so much of it that I loved so much. The characters, the pacing the like relationships and the plot all amazing I wasn't a big fan of that ending part of the ending yes other part of the ending so we are in pajamas because why not and i am reading my next book for make your myth taker which is the first book in my oracle path which is to go into a book blind and i'm reading all the bad apples by Maura fire foul doily I don't know how to say things, okay? I just, I don't. Okay, I admit to the fact that I can read nothing out loud. And I wasn't sure how I was going to like this. And now I'm like halfway. And I'm going to power read this. Because it's cute and witchy and about family and queers. And oh my god. And the writing. And we're following Dina who is basically has been erased by her twin sisters who are like 17 years older than her and one of them is really respectable and like traditional and the other one is basically like this whirlwind of weird and then in the very beginning we find out that everyone else thinks that this whirlwind sister aunt person is dead and Dina doesn't believe it so she goes on this like adventure basically to find her and during that she meets some people including like her best friend is like this black queer bi baby and i just want to hug him and his name is finn and we're in like ireland and the writing and i wasn't sure if i liked it and now i'm 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 hooked i just power read um all the bad apples Okay, so I read 50 pages of this yesterday and then I've just um, spent my entire morning um, reading it and it was um, 
something very different than what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was coming into like a whimsical story of some sort about uh, like queer identity maybe like some and there are queers in here and representation of like gays and lesbians and bisexuals it is also a book about family history and the things that we might not be told it's about sexual assault it's about um abortion it's about the fact that apparently in 1993 there were still these um mother baby houses in ireland where girls were sent if they didn't fit into the norm and it is heartbreaking and my heart hurts a little bit also it's a talk on Ireland's uh, refusal to make abortion legal, which it is now, thank fuck. And honestly, this is just, I would highly recommend reading this book. It was definitely an eye opener, but I would have wished that I had some trigger warnings or some more information of what this book is because I found this in the YA section of my library and I thought magic nice light topics and I think sometimes I forget how harsh sometimes that young adult fiction is and it was really beautifully written but also I am now gonna have to read something light and fluffy to like not have a cry about this book. It's an important book and I think you should read it and also there's some funny moments not a lot it's mainly heartbreaking and an unreliable narrator and people not turning out who you thought they were and it's just it's a lot. I'm slightly overwhelmed. Team, it is lunchtime, which means that I am going downstairs to my little bookshop, which is open. And I'm so excited. Team. So I um, went downstairs and obviously it's a charity bookshop, which means that at the most... The books that I bought in there are like one ninety nine, and um, got um, I got these. So this is the what's it the Infernal Devices one two and three because you know I've been talking about for a while the fact that I would like to read Cassandra Clare because I like being in on the hype. So that's um three like so they had the full set of the additional trudy kahneman series which comes after the magician's guilt or the, the black oh god why can't i remember it anyway it's trudy kahneman and i the first series the vatican's guilt is a trilogy that i read when i was like 16 17 it has a very special place in my heart and it has this edition so they're like orbit and white and this is apparently um so this is called the treader the spy trilogy and it's um it's afterwards apparently so we still have sonia as the main character and i was just like guess who is coming home with me i immediately came home and then i was like not that's it because in case i hadn't mentioned it my girlfriend sort of put me on a book buying ban because i have too many books and she's correct which you will see when I do my lockdown haul, which is gonna be intense. Um, and then I said that I was thinking about because they had the first five books in the Mortal Instruments series for 99p downstairs. And then my girlfriend told me to go get them. So I did. <laughs> so, um, all perfectly spined babies nothing wrong i don't even know if these have been read i read it because people were talking about it and i was like it's fine 
not into the whole incest thing and obviously i'm aware of some things that are coming because i've watched part of the series and i've definitely watched pierre ford's video also i wanted to give you guys a little reading update so this is my sixth prompt in make your myth taker the second prompt in my oracle path which is to read a book with foil on its cover and as you can see this cover is a lot beautiful. This is Haven Fall by Sarah Holland. It's an Illumicrate edition. It has the little book, like, bookmarky thing. And um, I'm not impressed yet. It's cute, it's pretty, it's very YA. So hopefully I will read this as fast as I read All the Bad Apples. And then I can move on because I still have to read The Starless Sea and Steel Crow Saga, so. Wednesday and I thought I would end the vlog. I'm also going to have to edit it which is going to take me 700 years but before doing that I apologize for any sounds in the back but this is the only place in the house with a direct breeze and it's so hot in the UK that I literally cannot function but at least my eyeliner and my makeup looks good today so we're gonna run with that. Also we have gin because it's after work but yes, so I finished Haven Fall by Sarah Holland this morning. It's fine. This is my problem now with the fact that I'm a book hoarder is that normally I do not keep a hold of copies of books that I do not enjoy like vividly. Like sometimes I hold on to them for a little bit and then I get rid of them usually. But because this is absolutely stunning, I'm going to have a hard time getting rid of it. So gonna have to find space on my shelf somewhere I don't know I have I have no space okay so I have no space and I keep buying books except not now we're going on a band so there will be no more books unless they're pre-order books from from now until like at least until after July so I've been doing quite well on the whole Make Your Myth Take a Sticking to you, My TBR other than body reading Empire of Gold because I just had to. So what I was meant to read was The Star of Sea by Erin Morgenstern now followed by Steel Crow Saga by Paul Kruger because these are my last two books in the TBR that I already set for myself and I've actually stuck with it and these are all books that I really like have been looking forward to and I am looking forward to both of these but I am... Um, I got an arc for Edit the Education by Naomi Novik, which is her new series, which is like a dark feministic uh, tale of like a magical school, but the school is basically killing the students and the only way to get out of the school is to die or like burn your way through it and we're following Gladriel, <laughs> who goes by L, who is like apparently like this like super strong dark sorceress in the making but she doesn't actually maybe want to be evil and i'm literally like 15 20 percent in and i'm already like in my brain like this is so good and i'm here to like uprooted and tamir are two very different books and now a deadly education is this completely different satire 
sass oh my god i love it so much already and i will put the like publication date down below like here and you can see the beautiful cover here and i'm just like i know i'm meant to be reading these but we're gonna have to read the debut education because i've been waiting for that book pretty much since the second that she announced it and i'm just like how did i not know about it and now it's like coming out soon and i'm literally like you're gonna love it it's so good and she's a queen i just i so good also it's really short so i should be able to just like smack that out and get yep, that out. that is it team for me this week slash last week i don't know how long this vlog is it's a while it's been going on there's walks as usual hopefully you had a nice time watching along so thank you so much for your continued support if you haven't already click that subscribe button and the like button if you want to it looks like this you can also click the little bell which will give you a notification for whenever i put up a video which we are going back into normal schedule time and then leave me a comment down below if you would like to so that i know that you are here and then i will see you guys real soon with another video i'm proud of you i love you you are doing great and goodbye and also psa please check out the links down below to uh, additional black booktubers who are amazing and whom i love and that you should love too and also the link to where you can uh, donate and sign petitions and do more because all of us need to continue to do the thing okay yeah all right